We have more updates in regards to Safe Moon's John Caroni, for example, with the withdrawal of counsel. Before I do dive into this, I want to tell you very briefly about the crypto exchange Margex. This is a crypto exchange with no KYC. You can get started in about 30 seconds to one minute. And they have a lot of different tokens on their platform. You could do leverage trading here too, up to 100X. And if you're not that comfortable with doing leverage trading, you can also check out copy trading so you can see how other traders are performing and then mirror your trades alongside theirs. And if you use my referral link in the description down below, you can get a nice little sign-up bonus when you make your first deposit. Again, you can find the link to that down in the description below. So I want to start off with this short little excerpt here. Shout outs to Live for Ford for posting these on Twitter. And here we see it says transcript of proceedings as to Braden John Caroni, Thomas Smith held on January 22nd, 2024 before judge committee, court reporter slash transcriber, if you're reporting in transcription service, Inc. Email address gives you that transcript may be viewed at the court public terminal or purchased through the court reporter transcriber before the deadline for release of transcription restriction. So keep this in mind, okay? There are dates here. After that date, it may be obtained through PACER. File redaction requests using event redaction request transcript located under other filings, other documents. Redaction requests due February 20th, 2024. So that's not too far away. Redacted transcript deadline set for March 1st, 2024. So now we're getting a little bit further out. And then release of transcript restriction set for April 29th, 2024. Uh, so now we're even further out. So you're looking at the end of April for the release of transcript. Very curious to see what's going to happen at the end of April when that information does get released. Okay, then we move over here. Order. Defendant Caroni's attorney has moved 42 to withdraw as counsel of record because of its client's inability to pay. Quote, non-payment of legal fees without more is not usually a sufficient basis to permit an attorney to withdraw from representation. End quote. In regards to Albert, gives you some more there. The um, Southern District of New York, quoting in regards to Revere Armored, Inc., Nevertheless, the court will consider and likely grant counsel's application for relief after new counsel has entered an appearance. If the defendant lacks the ability to pay for his defense, he should complete the process of applying for Criminal Justice Act counsel with his current lawyer's assistance ordered by Judge Eric R. Committee on January 31st, 2024 and entered in the same day. Then we have the SEC docket, motion for leave to file document requesting that the court grant a 45-day extension to serve defendant Braden John Caroni and to order service to be made by a United States Marshal or Deputy or deputy Marshal by Securities and Exchange Commission. And that was entered in on January 29th. Dear Judge Levy, Plaintiff Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC or Commission, respectfully requests that the court grant a 45-day extension to serve defendant Braden John Caroni. Furthermore, pursuant to Federal Rule of Civil Procedure, Commission Counsel respectfully requests that the court order service to be made by United States Marshal or Deputy Marshal. Additionally, Commission Counsel writes to inform that the court uh, inform the court that upon information and belief, defendant Kyle Nagy is currently located outside the United States. Therefore, FRCP's 90-day limit to serve a defendant within the United States is inapplicable as to defendant Nagy. Nagy. By way of background, on November 1st, 2023, the SEC filed a civil complaint in the matter against defendant SafeMoon LLC, SafeMoon US LLC, Braden John Caroni, Thomas Glenn Smith, and Kyle Nagy. On that same date, the United States Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of New York unsealed its indictment in the parallel criminal case captioned United States versus Braden John Caroni et al. On October 31st, 2023, one day prior to unsealing the indictment, law enforcement arrested Caroni pursuant to an arrest warrant in the District of Utah. Caroni was subsequently detained pending trial and was later transported by the United States Marshals Service to the Eastern District of New York. Caroni is currently incarcerated at the Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center. 
On or about November 17th, 2023, Caroni's Council of Record in the Parallel Criminal Matters informed Commission Council that he was not authorized to accept service of the civil complaint on Caroni's behalf. Thereafter, and upon learning of Caroni's transfer to the MDC, Commission Council hired a process server to effectuate service at the MDC. A process server representative informed Commission Council that MDC Brooklyn will only allow a local Kings County Sheriff to serve inmates at the facility. The process server is now coordinating efforts with the Kings County Sheriff, but was informed that it could take months for them to effectuate service. As of the date of this motion, the process server has not succeeded in serving Caroni at the MDC. However, the 90-day deadline to serve Caroni is January 30th, 2024. Accordingly, Commission Council respectfully requests that the court grant a 45-day extension. To avoid further delay, Commission Council respectfully requests that pursuant to FRCP 5C3, uh, the court orders service to be made by a United States Marshal or Deputy Marshal. The SEC has not conferred with Caroni concerning this request, as he is currently incarcerated and is not represented by counsel in this matter. With respect to defendant Kyle Nagy, as indicated above, Commission Counsel believes that he is currently located outside of the United States. In their attempts to arrest defendant Nagy, law enforcement spoke to family members who, in who indicated that the Nagy resided outside the United States. The SEC's process server also spoke to family members at Nagy's last known address, who confirmed that the defendant was currently overseas. The SEC is continuing efforts to locate and serve Nagy at his current location. However, as noted above, their 90-day limit to serve a defendant within the United States is inapplicable as to defendant Nagy. Respectfully submitted, Orin Gleisch, Trial Counsel. The commission shall have an additional 45 days from January 30th, 2024 to, to serve defendant Caroni. Furthermore, service of the summons and complaint shall be made by a United States Marshal or Deputy Marshal, so ordered Robert M. Levy, United States Magistrate Judge. There you go. There's the latest in regards to Safe Moon with John Caroni. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And again, I have my referral link for Marjex down in the description below. If you guys use that referral link, you can get a nice little sign-up bonus. And you can check out more of their platform. They got a handful of different cryptos you can trade. And they got that leverage trading. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out. Thank you to We Love, Victor Vegas for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.